All right, so this is uh, 2.3 homework on the rational numbers. Uh, let me remind you, uh, you know, what we're doing. So the idea, really, we start with these natural numbers here, which is 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 all right, on and on. We can add and multiply in this number system, uh, but when we try to subtract, we can't. Uh, you know, you can subtract 3 from 2, but you can't subtract 2 from 3 and still wind up in this number system. So then we introduce the integers, which we covered on 2.2. And so this includes all the natural numbers, plus we have 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. And we also go the other way, so negative 1, negative 2, uh, negative 3, and so on. Uh, so we can add, we can multiply, we can subtract, but we can't divide in this number system. So then we introduce a new number system, another one, Q, which in this one, this is all the nice fractions, so A divided by B, uh, where A and B, of course B is not equal to zero, are just integers. So are integers. So uh, what we want to do in this number system now is we want to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. And so that's what we're going to work on. So when we add fractions, uh, the idea is you have to first find a common uh, denominator. So what we have here is 3 halves plus 5 thirds. To find a common denominator, it's real simple. Okay, all you need to do is look at it and say, okay, well, uh, I have a 2 and a 3. So a common denominator, a common multiple, would just be 2 times 3. So 2 times 3, put that there. And so you don't change the fraction, you have to put it up here. Right, this is still 3 halves, because the 3's will cancel. And you do the same thing over here, but instead of multiplying by 3, you multiply by 2. And you multiply by 2 up there. Right, this is still 5 thirds, because the 2's will cancel. Right, and then what you can do is you can say this is equal to, of course you have 9 6 the first one, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 5, which is 10, of course you still have the 6 on the bottom, and you add the numerators, so you get 19 divided by 6. The common mistake that students make on this type of problem is they add the numerators and they add the denominators. And that will not work. There are nice easy examples that show why this is true. We all know if you take a half and a half, you should get 1. If you add the numerators, you'll get 2. On the bottom, if you add the denominators, you get 4. So 2 fourths, which is not 1. All right, so you simply add the numerators. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And you keep the denominator the same. So 2 over 2, which of course is equal to 1. The next problem, instead of addition, we have subtraction. And here we actually have a choice on how we want to find a common denominator. So we have 7 halves minus 11 six. Now I can multiply top and bottom by 6 over here and multiply top and bottom by 2 over here, subtract the numerators, keep the denominators the same, and get my answer. Or I can be a little clever and just say, oh, um, 2 will go into 6, so I really can turn a 2 into a 6 by multiplying it by 3. Of course, if I do it down there, I want to do it up here too because I don't, don't want to change the fraction. I still want this to be 7 halves. And so what I get here then is 7 times 3, which is a 21, and then divided by 6 minus, I still have 11 over 6 here, and then I can subtract the numerator, so I get 10 on top, and I get 6 on the bottom, and this is equal to 5 thirds, right, 2's will cancel. On the next one, uh, what I want to do is multiplication. Now multiplication is real simple. You just multiply the top and you multiply the bottom. So multiply the numerators together, so I get 3 times 5, which is 15. And multiply the denominators together, 9 times 4, which is 36. And in each of these, I think, what do we have? I think a 3 will go in each of these, right? And so on the top, 3's will cancel, and so I'll get a 5 on top. And on the bottom, 3 will go into this, what, 10, 11, 12 times. So that's just actually 5 uh, twelfths. 
right, when I'm canceling here, what I'm actually doing is I make 15 over 36, and I realize 15 is 3 times 5, and 36 is 3 times uh, 4. No, 3 times 12. Okay, 3 times 12. All right, and then 3s are canceling. So I get 5 for 12. So that's what I'm doing um, right up here. All right, the next one, instead of multiplying, I'm going to divide. And so when I divide, I just multiply by the reciprocal. So 2 fifths divided by 4 thirds the same as 2 fifths times 3 fourths. And then I just multiply the numerator, so I get 6 on top. Multiply the denominator, so I get 20 on bottom. And then I can cancel off some 2, so I get 3 tenths. Right, we can take this one step further and combine it with the uh, order of operations. So, like on this one, of course I had to do stuff inside the parentheses first, so this is 2 divided by, and I have 3 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 7. I find a common denominator, so to find a common denominator, the easiest way to do this is just multiply the two numbers, so I multiply the top and bottom by 7, so I still have 3 fifths, and I multiply the top and bottom by 5 over here, so I still have 1 seventh. I can figure out what those are, so this is going to be equal to 2 divided by, and I have 21 over 5 times 7 is a 35, and then plus a 5 over 35. When I have a common denominator, then I can add these two things together, so I have 2 divided by, and 21 plus 5 is a 26, and of course the, denom the, numerator, the denominator stays the same. This is equal to then 2 times, right, when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal, uh, 35 over 26. And a 2 can be written as a fraction, you know, 2 over 1, so I have 2 times 35, which is 70, over 1 times uh, uh, 26, which is 26. 2 certainly cancel here, so I get 35 over, it looks like 13. And that's my answer. Uh, the next one, same sort of idea, uh, but now I'm subtracting inside here, so you have to work up from the parentheses first, so this is actually 3 times, and I have a negative 5 minus 2 over 5. To get a common denominator, I have to realize that this is actually, I could actually write a 1 there, and so what I'll do is I'll just take times 5 on the bottom and top, so times 5, times 5. It's still negative 5, but what I'll get now is a common denominator of 5, so this is equal to 3 times minus 25 over 5, and then minus 2 over 5. I can now combine the fractions because I have the common denominator, so this is 3 times a negative 25 minus a 2, so I get a negative 27, 5. And again, I can simply multiply these. This is like 3 over 1 if you want. Think of it like that. So this is 3 times negative uh, 27, which is a negative 81. And then 5 times 1, which is 5. And so I get a negative 81 uh, divided by 5. That's my answer.